What more can Berg and Riley do to impress us? It seems every time she reaches an amazing peak in her volleyball career, there's another apex in the distance that she's already climbing to. Then she reaches that next feat, and she sets her sights even higher and achieves another unthinkable milestone. And she's not even 18 years old yet. Her ascent to be the best volleyball player she can be began when she saw her sister play. Reagan, who is two years older than her, is also a tremendous setter and has had a big influence on her volleyball career. Whenever she went in for a lesson, I would just go in and tag along with her, and she's the reason I wanted to be a setter, I'm sure. I want to do what she's doing. I want to be her. I want to do it exactly how she's doing it. She immersed herself in volleyball, always playing up from her age group. Even while she was in middle school, college scouts already recognized her potential. As an eighth grader, she played varsity ball with her sister for three years. In that sophomore year, she had one final season with her sister Reagan, and it was memorable. Winning the state championship my sophomore year, like that will always stick with me. I obviously have another one now for volleyball and one for basketball, but that, we, that year was really special. Just getting to play with all of those seniors, there were seven of them, and they just made it like such a team. And um, our chemistry was great. Bergen continued to make a name for herself in volleyball circles. She was being sought after by all the top volleyball programs in the nation. She handled the recruiting process with as much thoughtfulness as she organizes an offense. I'm gonna take five officials. I'm gonna talk to everyone. Like I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna tell anybody no for a while because I want to make sure that I get all of the information. But when it was her turn to visit Nebraska, everything changed. I knew that there was nowhere else that would satisfy me like Nebraska did. The Cornhuskers have a great tradition, coaching staff, and fan base. Everything she was looking for. The support there is just unreal. And people love their volleyball. They love the players. They're all in. I think it's just so cool that no matter what you're doing, no matter who we're playing, like whatever it is, like they're all in for you. Fresh off her announcement to commit to Nebraska, she was invited to compete for a spot on Team USA in the summer of 2021. She was one of 12 players on the U18 team to compete in the World Championships in Mexico City. She worked her way into more playing time and impressed the coaches and took home a bronze medal. She had to miss 10 games during that high school season, but with the support of her school, it didn't derail her. Everyone at O'Gorman has just made it so easy for me. I talked to some of the other girls on the team and last year and like their coaches were upset that they were going to this and their school wasn't working with them. So yeah, I couldn't have it any like any better and with everyone being so supportive, all my teachers, Kale obviously, all the players. When she returned to the court, she was better than ever. She led her team to back-to-back -back state titles with one of the most epic games in state tournament history. O'Gorman was down 2-0 to their rivals from Washington in the championship. A lot of people think I'm like a pretty mellow, I'm not super loud, but then like once I'm on the court and especially in those tight games, like it's go time. A switch flipped in the third set and she made sure the team was focused. We know that everyone is wanting us to lose, everyone's cheering against us and that's how it's always been and so I was like, we gotta go, we're down 2-0, there's no other option now. That defining moment propelled the Knights, and they came back from the mat and won the next three sets to claim the state title. This past summer, Bergen once again got the call to join Team USA. This time, she'd earn a spot on the U19 national team that was set to compete for the Pan Am Cup, which would qualify the team for the World Championships in 2023. She was named the starting setter it's just helped me grow a lot, like not being the best in the gym is kind of a new thing and so um, it pushes you and it really, it's really hard but it helps you to grow so much faster. Team USA competed in Tulsa, Oklahoma and the team flourished under her leadership. USA took home gold and Bergen was named the outstanding setter and the most valuable player of this international tournament. These last two weeks have been an absolute grind. Like, it's been really hard, but it's all worth it in the end when getting gold. This fall, when Bergen thought the craziness might have a chance to settle down, 
she got a surprise call from Team USA once again. She just said like Michelle Chapman, who she had been the assistant coach my two previous times with USA. She's like, she called today, she said one of their setters tested positive for COVID and they need a backup setter to come to the Dominican with them. And I was like, okay, like that sounds fun. Like when? And she's like, tomorrow. I'm like, okay, that's different. But I also immediately knew like, this is the opportunity of a lifetime and I have to go. And like, I obviously wanted to go. I wanted to get to train with all of these people, but it was hard. Like I missed Dakota Bowl. I missed like, I was supposed to go to Nebraska last weekend for a visit, but it, worked out and it was a great experience. She would be the youngest member of this Olympic level team playing at the Norica Women's Final Six Tournament in the Dominican Republic. This tournament features several Olympic players, but Bergen found a way to fit right in. She helped her team win a silver medal. Others who get this whirlwind of attention and accolades might not stay grounded, but Bergen, she keeps it all in perspective. I've gotten used to people like knowing my name, um, but it still just doesn't really feel real. Like it doesn't feel like I'm on Team USA. It doesn't feel like all eyes are on me. And yeah, like you said, like I wouldn't say that I particularly love it, but I also realize that I've worked hard for this and like this is what I've been working for. And so I obviously can't complain about it. All right, people want to know, will she get to the Olympic level? The next Olympic Games are in 2024, but she's thinking maybe beyond that? Yeah, it's confusing. You, you hear all this stuff about her playing for Team USA all the yeah. time, and you're trying to figure out, well, what does that mean Olympic-wise? Well, more than likely, the 2028 Olympics is the Olympics she has her eyes on. And it's so hard, even though she's been on all these team levels, uh, the 18U, or the, the U18, the U19 teams, it's a whole nother level to get to the Olympic team. She definitely can do it. She's pretty much knocked over every barrier that she's ever had. But uh, more than likely, most of those Olympic players are post-college yeah. players. And uh, she's probably looking still, you know, six years down the road. All right. And th these are Team USC. These are national teams. But the Olympics is another step beyond that. Yes, but okay. she played in this last tournament. She played with Olympic players from the Dominican, from the USA, and she was the only high school player to play on that team. In fact, the only high school player to play with the Olympic level yeah. Team USA team since 2005. Yeah. So she's definitely in some rare air. All right. And she's going to be done early at O'Gorman and enroll early at Nebraska? You know, she loves basketball, has played basketball her whole life. And she's going to regret that she can't play basketball right. because she has to go doesn't have to, but she gets to go to Nebraska to enroll early. And this is a trend. You see a lot more top level athletes getting into school, getting some classes done, getting familiar with the team before they actually enter their first season with the team. And uh, she's really excited to see what she can do at Lincoln. And she'll have four teammates she knows right off the bat that she's already played Team USA volleyball with at Nebraska. So that's going to be a huge help for her as well. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. This has been Midco Sports Magazine presented by Build Your Base with Beef Sports Nutrition and Training Program.